Hello guys! So welcome to our last part of the interview. So as promised, we have interviewed our three elemental queens this time. It's about time to interview the queen. And I think you know who I'm talking about. I'd like you to say hi to our Miss Earth 2017, Karen de Vasco. Hi everyone! Alright, so we're so excited. Thank you. So I was telling you a while ago when you got the crown and the wine. Me as a, a teacher as well was so proud, and it was a, it's like it was like a winning moment for all teachers. How do you feel now that you have the sash and you want the crown? I am overwhelmed with happiness. At first, it didn't sink in. When I won for Miss Philippines here, it was the same. It didn't sink in immediately, especially now for Miss Earth. Like you were with 85 candidates exactly. from all over the world. And now it's not easy to have that journey when you're gonna stand out, you know. Um, starting the journey for like a month long field of activities, you really have to keep your stamina, which is not easy. And um, there are so many competitions that you have to always remember that you need to know who you should always um, learn to um, be in good in good relationships with. At the same time, you just have to focus from start to end. It, should, it is not going to be easy for me. I know it was not going to be easy, and I'm just so happy that the crowd is back in the whole place. And I heard that in the last leg of the competition, I think uh, we've seen the post of Kaylee. Yeah. Uh, and she said that you were already sick at the latter part of the interview and would like to commend you because uh, Kaylee said that, just to quote her, uh, during the last parts of the competition, a lot of people were shutting down because they were in competition mode. But you were the total opposite. Yeah. You were accommodating, you were, you were still very happy, you were prepared. So um, how do you feel about that? When I read her, only actually there was just someone who um, screenshotted what Kaylee told me and he sent it to me. When I read that, I was so touched because Kaylee is not from my group. She's from another group. I only talk to her when all of us come together as one group, when we practice, when we have competitions. And then she always comes to me and sits down because she's one of the people that is very um, inspired with what Miss Earth is about. And uh, I can still remember she was inspired with Angelia. When Angelia won, she was a very um, um, she's very advocate driven, and um, she was very happy when she won, and it gave her hope again when she saw me winning Miss Philippines Earth. And she was so happy when she met me in person. She was like, "Hi, I'm Kitty. I'm from U.S. Virgin Islands." I'm like, "Hello!" <laughs> and she was already messaging me way back before Miss Philippines Miss Earth started. She was messaging me on Instagram. She was asking me questions, and when I saw her. I know she was an authentic person, and maybe what made me stood out is you don't have to shut people off. You don't have to be in competition mode. You have to be who you are. You have to be natural, you have to be authentic, because if you're going to become a queen, it's not about how people see you. It's who you are even in front of people and behind the camera. You know, it's not just having a beautiful facade, it's not just having the unfading beauty of the inside, it's having a message that you can share with people in which you would show to them that this is who I am. I don't pretend to be somebody else. This is who I am and I'm going to show to everybody that I'm a whole package as I present myself to everybody. I'm glad you have it, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, we're just so proud of your accomplishment. So um, I know that it was a very difficult uh, journey for you yeah. for almost a month. For a month. Uh, okay. Yeah. So amongst uh, the activities that you have undergone, what is your most favorite part? Oh, the activities. My most favorite part would be. I couldn't pick one because there were so many for me. But I guess one of the most um, that stood out for me. It's not an activity. Is being with my group. Mm -hmm. You know, group two was different. I'm not sure with other groups because I am not from their group, but my group was was very much um, like a family. You know, whenever we had competitions, yeah, she would win gold, she would win silver, and people would win gold. I won, but we felt that we we're a family. You know, we supported each other. We were always happy yeah. for each other's successes. It's not about oh, it's a competition. Uh -huh. I have to win gold. I have to win bronze. Uh -huh. I know it wasn't like that. Yes, everybody wants to win, but you would feel the support of 
people coming to you when you win uh -huh. and congratulating you every single time, no matter where we go. And we travel as a group. Uh -huh. We travel in different places in the Philippines and we share our lives together. Actually, it's not just uh, Colombia, it's one of my closest, it's also Belgium and Nepal uh -huh. and uh, England. Actually, all of my groups, Pakistan and then Canada, they were very close to me because they were people that um, really showed who they are. Actually, all of my group, they're very good people. It's good to hear. There's really an air of camaraderie yes, and yes, friendship yes. amongst the group, and I think that's, I think uh, the organization as well is yeah. promoting that. Mm -hmm. they, they would always promote camaraderie and friendship yeah, because that's yeah. the goal, right? So thank you for that. So now that you have the crown, what do you think? What is in store for you? What are your projects that you'd like to share to our followers? Or probably uh -huh. something that we can also follow. Um, for now, we're going to go to Cambodia on the 15th, and we're very excited because. It's, it's very um, sudden, you know, it's not always that when Miss Earth wins that you travel immediately mm -hmm. with all your queens. Mm -hmm. This time we're going to travel immediately exactly. and then we are going to go to Cambodia with all my elemental queens and I'm very happy to be with them because we're very close. Exactly. Uh, I know every single year it's, it doesn't happen that they're all close to each other but we're all close. It's really good to yes. hear. I'm really excited to follow that journey with uh -huh. you. Alright, so please feel free to just update yes. us. Of course. Of and course. also, you can use our platform so at least we could uh, yes. share yes. whatever it is that's happening to you. All right? Thank you. And I'm going court. Uh -huh. right, so, but of course, I, I know that you are the unconventional. Yeah. Queen. <laughs> okay, yes. You mentioned that to me a while ago. And I know that you are a medical physicist. Okay, so I'd like to probably challenge you a bit. Okay. As a medical physicist and a teacher, with that knowledge and that skill, how do you think we're able to use that to actually elevate the Miss Earth uh, title? Oh, actually, it's one of my, if people didn't ask me before, but it's one of my edge in the competition. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are prepared when it comes to coming here in Miss Earth, but for me, it made me credible. You know, it just it, it didn't just make me prepared. It made me a credible advocate because I'm a scientist. I believe that I'm the first scientist who ever joined Miss Earth and win Miss Earth. Exactly. And I'm very proud to represent my scientific community to show the people that when it's scientifically done, it is made credible. And I'm. Um, I would want to go to lectures. I would want to learn more. I know I researched way back in this Philippines Earth and of course in this Earth mm -hmm. and how I could really showcase my Philippines to all the world and what we are experiencing behind climate change. And I would want to learn more. There are actually already organizations that came to me that would already want to give me lectures. Wow. They already gave me PowerPoints and I've already read them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just happy because it made me prepared for this Earth. Because they know that I need this, you know. You, you now have a very important and powerful platform to show the people. And I'm excited to go to different lectures to study more about the environment. Thank you. <laughs> you now see we have the right queen for the right crown. So, <laughs> right, so I'd like to ask, I know as mentioned you are the unconventional beauty queen and of course you are now popular and when and like they say when we see popular people mm -hmm. you have uh, people who loves you or yeah. adores you. You also have people okay. who are on the opposite side of the fence. <laughs> of course, right? of course. Our haters. <laughs> right? Or probably our um, what we call uh, silent fans. I would call them silent fans. Okay, but what do you think, and how do you feel about the, some of the bashings that are happening? Uh, that's really rampant online about not just you, actually about the organization, about yeah. the actual competition. I guess I'm quite um, what do you call this um, controversial now because. Angelia just won two years before me. Come on, she, just, she won like a back-to-back -to -back. and people always say it's a homegrown pageant Correct. and it's from the Philippines Correct. and it's in the Philippines that it's so biased and people say that you're off the limits but maybe you would want to watch it again, you know. I am not going to judge you, you have your own opinions but maybe you would want to watch the pageant again because it was fair. Everyone was given a chance. Everyone was given their own hashtags, everyone was given their own questions. And not only that, before you get to the top, you're going to go through the whole month of pre-pageant. You know, it's not just one clip because I love Philippine she's there. Mm -hmm. No, we went through like, if you're going to go through like in school, you went to examinations before you it's went to a periodical exam, Agreed. right? It, it's the same. 
You know, you really can't say that they were biased this year because I fought the same with all other girls. I even got sick the past few days mm -hmm. before the coronation night was there and everybody saw me. Mm -hmm. And Kaylee was like, as, uh, she, she commented that I've never seen her rant, I've never seen her complain when it was um, rehearsal time. She did her best as if it was a coronation night and that's what I did. Because I was already feeling the stage. As early as that time, I had to prepare myself. Especially when we were in the Moa rehearsal, mm -hmm. I was feeling my crowd. I had to feel my stage. Mm -hmm. And before the competition started, I was alone because I was warming my head up already. Mm -hmm. I was brainstorming what are the possible hashtags to be given to me. Because I prepared for that. I saw a screenshot of that. Really? Yeah, a screenshot of your message, I think, to the group. Uh, you were you were saying to the group that I'm sorry I was focusing and yeah, like, yeah, I didn't yeah. get a I chance to talk to everyone much, yeah. in the, la the yeah. later part of the competition. Because um, it's not that I was shutting down. I was I know myself. I know that I had to warm up. It's like um, it's like an athlete. You know when you're a player, you just don't go to the tournament and just play. You warm up mm -hmm. because you know you have to warm up your your muscles. Okay. It's the same with me. I have to warm up my walk. I have to warm up my posture. I have to internalize who I am, mm -hmm. and I have to warm up my brain. So you were simply focusing. I right? was. You were focusing. Um, and there were also people saying, "I'm sorry to bring this mm -hmm. up, uh, especially in the hashtag uh -huh. part of the competition and the final question." Doctors will say, ah, she already knows the question. <laughs> uh, the, it's already predetermined, it's prepared. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what can you say about that? No, it was an issue. It was a controversy way back in the Philippines, Erin. Mm -hmm. I already know my hashtag back then. It was fake news. Mm -hmm. And then the question about um, the law or rather a regulation yeah, or a yeah, policy in the yeah. Philippines. I didn't know anything about it. Actually, no one in the staff knows the final question mm -hmm. because it only is released during the coronation night. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows it. Even not even now you know. nobody knows it. Okay. Even in Miss Earth, Lavana in Miss Earth, nobody knows it. Mm -hmm. um, the question is only made that night in the okay. coronation night. And right. Nobody knows it. And you prepared for it. I did. Different aspects how I can answer it in a way that people would see that this is who I am. You know, sometimes in a competition you tend to like compare yourself I because I know she's strong mm -hmm. I have to give a better answer. Mm -hmm. No. Actually I was also tempted to think that way, but then I said to myself, no, you're different. You're called for a purpose, you're called for a mission, and what you have to do is to gather everything you've learned and just say what you have to say. You don't have to be um, better than her because you just know that when you answer, the way you answer, that's who you are. You know, you don't have to compare yourself to other people. So what you're saying is your only competition is yourself. Yeah, it's true, it's true. And for uh, you to win a crown, you, <laughs> you need to focus, you need to prepare, yeah. aside from being beautiful, mm -hmm. right? And you have to be yourself. It's true. And that makes us even more proud. Thank We're you. We're so happy. Thank so, you. so your message to the first, to your um, the opposite side of the fence, to your haters, <laughs> okay. what would you say? Actually, I even want to thank you. Because the more that you talk about us, the more you're hyping Miss Earth. And we actually have been trending worldwide for quite some time exactly. now. And I want to thank you because um, no matter what you what you say online and no matter what you do, every reply, every like, or every angry emoticons you give us, you're hyping us. So maraming maraming salamat po. And actually, I've already said this in my, um, in my statement that no amount of words or posts can actually change the fact that the battle has already been won. Exactly, and it has been won by <laughs> the Philippines. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What a, what a classy answer. Of course, I'd like you to uh, say your final words to your supporters, and there are a million of us, right? Thank yes. you. I'm very much overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed when it was held here in the Philippines. When I heard the crowd, I was overwhelmed with the Fili I don't know those people. I don't know everyone who supported me. I just know they're Filipinos. And when you say Filipinos, you have a family, you know? And I'm just grateful because of the camaraderie of the Filipinos. We have what we call as a bayanihan, and um, it's kindled, um, rekindling or rather um, sparking the spirit of cooperation and unity in every Filipino. So maraming maraming salamat from the bottom of my heart for all the support and effort, and the crown is with us. Thank yes, you. it is with us. So we should all be proud. And we are happy that Karen 
is a best representative for the Miss Earth advocacy. I know that she will continue the Miss Earth legacy. So that's it for now, Ken. We're so happy. We're so happy. So thank you so much. So guys, please uh, follow MissEarth.tv and Miss Earth Brown will give you more updates on the journey of Catherine Basco and her elemental queens. So thank you so much for watching.